All right, folks, welcome to uh, a beer 52 unboxing. For a moment there, I thought I'd show my address. Excuse me, just had a kebab. Midweek kebab, just because we're in the mood for one. Um, yeah, so this is another one of those uh, occurrences where I hadn't actually intended to uh, get another beer 52 box for a while. Uh, the last box that we got, I was just mightily underwhelmed with um it seemed like they were reverting back to the not like as if they're being scummy or anything when i say this but reverted back to their old selves where it was pretty much just contract brewed at the prof stuff and it, i don't know there's just something about the the beers aren't the same they can be brewed to the same recipe you can treat your water to replicate that you can it just isn't the same. And I noticed that, especially with the carnival stuff that was in there. And um, I was, when I was with Adam and Harry this past weekend in Liverpool, um, I can't remember who it was from carnival who I was talking to, whether it was a sales guy or one of the owners. It wasn't Neil. I know it wasn't Neil. Um, and we were talking about it and he said, yeah, it was just, it was essentially just a, you know, it was a good financial move. It's a good way to get your brewery out there. I'm not going to ever begrudge um, anyone. not even going to begrudge Beer 52 uh, for doing that. Um, but I was just like, they, they weren't the same. Um, that, the, um, that shaker one, the uh, Porter, I think, I can't remember. Is it named after a, an Oasis song? I can't remember. Just didn't taste anywhere near as good as the sort of originally brewed at Carnival stuff. So I uh, sent an email um, asking to cancel because I've really got no time at all to uh, to give them a call. I uh, didn't get a response, and then I got you know my uh, looked at my bank and saw oh there's a pending authorization from Beer Fifty Two, which I was like fine, it's you know no big deal. Um, it's always good to have at least some beer um, in the in the cupboard. So I just sent them an email saying, uh, would it be at all possible to cancel the box for a couple of months um, after this? Because I don't want to completely you know, cancel my subscription, um, especially after seeing what beers that we've got in this box. Uh, but also because yeah, I've got points that I can spend um, in the Beer 52 shop, so that'll be useful around Christmas just to stock up on uh, you know, some nice beer. It's just it seems the Beer 52 web shop goes through like phases where there's loads of good stuff on and then there's not that much on. So uh, yeah, it'll just be a good way to get some budget beers for Christmas. So the email back apologised. Uh, obviously, it's a busy time of the year for a lot of companies and no exception for those. And they just said, listen, you can keep the box. We'll just give you a refund and then we'll put your account on hold. And I was like, do you know what? Wasn't expecting that. I would never expect that, uh, but I do greatly appreciate it. Um, and luckily, a lot of companies who I have been dealing with when it comes to beers and stuff have been fantastic. Um, and I don't know why people have this sort of narrative that Beer 52 are, a, are just a really awkward company to work with, because I've never had an issue. Uh, whether I phone them, sent an email, sent something through web chat, They've always, aside from like this, maybe one or two times like this one, where they've had a little bit of delay in response to me. But, you know, if, if you're a smaller business, you know, you can't just be dedicating all your time to, to emails if you're on a, you know, if you've got a small staff, especially after after COVID. I'm not sure how badly hit they were um, in terms of staffing levels and stuff. But I know directly from the company that I'm working for, uh, there were times where there'd be like <sighs> over a thousand emails that needed to be answered. So it happens. And uh, thankfully, the box itself, pretty damn good stuff. Um, and it doesn't seem to be one deprof beer at all. Um, <clears throat> I've left the uh, the book downstairs. No, I haven't. It's here. No, that's, not, that's just the inserts, which, by the way, some good stuff uh, in terms of promotional material where you can get um, a free box of, well, yeah, 24 pack of Love Corn, which I developed quite a taste for while I was at the London Craft Beer Festival. 
and uh, Crosby Coffee Roasters. Mm, let's see. Yeah, Crosby Coffee. I've had, I think I've had a few Crosby beers. I think um, Black Lodge have brewed some beers with stuff from Crosby Coffee. I can't really remember. So, you know, might take advantage of those two offers. But you've also got um, all plants if you want your vegan meals. Uh, the Cheese Club. Quite tempted by that. And then for that special someone, you've got your uh, Bloom and Wild flowers. But yeah, the actual uh, book itself is downstairs. And the theme for this month is uh, Beer, to, Beer 52 Awards, I think, if I remember correctly. So the two snacks that we've got are uh, Sesame Grissini mini breadsticks. I think I got those in not the last box, but the box before. They were okay. And then we've got Scrocci con Medigli Rossi e Semi di Sesamo, which is crackers with cranberries and sesame seeds. So they sound nice. Nice, uh, good, strong cheddar. Sounds good to me. So the only bottle um, is from Bioro, and this is the Naturup which is the unfiltered Pilsner. 4.9% uh, ABV. I've enjoyed the stuff I've had from these guys. I uh, can't remember the, uh, the the person who does the artwork, but fantastic artwork, and I do follow them on Instagram. I think uh, he's a Japanese. I think he also actually brews the beer as well. <coughs> Very German-oriented. Uh, we've got Enter Simcoe from Siren which is a hazy IPA, 6% ABV. Always nice to get a bit of siren. Then there is Porter from Moore Beer Company. I think I've had that before. Um, so, you know, it's the season for darker beers, so I'm not too upset about that. Uh, then we've got uh, the Garden Brewery out of Croatia, and this is their New England Pale Number no. 6, 4.9% ABV. Got a little bit of a rebrand going on, and I'm really digging that. Um, again, I might have had this before. Um, I do admittedly, though, find <clears throat> that the Garden Brewery's pails are just uh, a little bit hit and miss for me. Uh, then we've got Prevail from Gypsy Hill. Uh, give a friend a case. So I think, um, I'm not sure if it's an existing beer, uh, pre existing beer. But you get a beer 52 promotion on it where you can get your mate a free box or whether it's a beer that they've actually brewed for or in collaboration with beer 52 on uh, again gypsy hill not the biggest fan of the brewery um but i'm happy to give it a go uh, then we've got lost and found and this is a can of the sepa Rob from Hopscene is ripping his hair out, as I've said that. Cool artwork on that. Sort of like, um, they're not spacesuits, are they? No, maybe they are, but they almost look like um, like pre-war <sighs> environmental suit. What What's that? Radiation suits. Or they're probably just like spacesuits painted yellow. You never know. But yeah, striking artwork on that one. Uh, then there's a can of pale ale, or the order of things, pale ale, 4.8% by North. Again, I think I might have had this. The name of the beer rings a bell. Always good to get a little bit of North. Uh, then we've got from Utopian, and uh, this is the uh, Conna Spe Specialani. Eh? Shut up, Peter. Uh, basically, it's a black lager. Inspired by the full-bodied and roasted black lagers of uh, Chechia. This beer is a... What? This is a beer for winter contemplation. Brewed with double dectrin malt, an extended boil, and packed with British-grown Fuggles hops. This beer is big, bold, and will leave you wanting another. 
Uh, from the stuff I've had from Utopian, as someone who does enjoy his lagers, very excited for that, 5.9%. Ooh, that, that's, that's sounding really good right about now. Uh, then we've got the sup from Whiplash, which is a porter. <gasps> Excuse me. At 5%. I don't drink enough Whiplash. I know Rob's a big fan of uh, Whiplash. But it'd be nice to try porter from them. And then we've got nice to malt you brown ale. We're wandering into darker months and we've brought our darker malts to match them. With notes of nuts, coffee, chocolate and rich caramel, we simply can't wait to malt you. Well, I'm very much looking forward to be malted in the most despicable way to all. Uh, does it give you any more information about that? No, 4.3% ABV. So I'm not sure if it's brewed with any adjuncts or if it's just a brown ale. Uh, but yeah, always good to get some tour. So uh, yeah, that's the box. Not a bad selection, um, to be fair. Especially with the fact that it's essentially a free box. But, you know, that's not what it's all about really, isn't it? It's they, Again, it was a gesture that they didn't have to do. It's certainly something I would never have asked for, but I do greatly appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, some good stuff. Some nice dark beers as well, which is always welcome. So looking forward to uh, drinking those on these colder, colder evenings. But, um, yeah, so if you've tried any of these, so let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. What's some of your favourite beers from the breweries involved? Are you a fan of Beer 52? Just hit me up in the comments. Anyway, cheers for watching. You all take care. Stay safe, and I'll see you later. Cheers.